right? So one, you can see me as the bonus count going back to the other count on so Saturday. First and foremost, we're going to give our praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakhabadash, Devil Honest to the Apostles, and other great millstone who will, if we should take a taste of those things that push his word to truth and sincerity, right? So uh, we're going to kind of, you know, get back in, get into the uh, point of saying that you know, the Lord is ready to judge this place. And you can see people that walk around, they don't they don't really understand what's coming. The Lord has great judgment, but along with that, he has a great deliverance coming. But uh we're gonna uh we get off the uh revelation. Book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 14. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like the son of man. Uh, and, that, and that cloud is on that chariot. And of course, you know, that son of man is the how shot, you know, that he he uh he sent it back up in the into that cloud, according to uh, Acts, you know, that first chapter, and he's going to come back in that same, in that like manner. Go ahead. Right. It says, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Uh, God, he's he, uh, he going to have that golden crown. So he, he's going he's gonna to take all these uh, these nations down, okay, and, and all he's going to have all power. And that sharp sickle is a, is a, is a threshing history. You know, it's a, it's a harvesting history. So he's coming back to, uh, you know, for judge and make war with and another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud thrust in thy sickle and reap uh, uh, thrust in that sickle. so he's gonna reap because the harvest is right which i think is gonna go on long for to say that too because uh, the sins have the sins have been reaching up to heaven we look around there's so much wickedness and it gets worse and worse every day it was going as the days go on it's going to be to the point to where the Lord he has to come to the Has to come to the first message. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Revelation 18 <clears throat> and 4. <laughs> it's uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And it says, And I heard another voice of heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven. And the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Uh, and it says, come out of her, my people. That's, that's the Lord calling us up, these elect up. Because he's going to, that's why I said he's going to, he's going to destroy and he's going to deliver. It's going to be a simultaneous thing. All right? Because he's going to call his elect up out there. Because his elect is not going to take part in it. All right? Back to Revelation 18, verse 5. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time has come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Uh, you say the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he just read in Revelation 18 that the sins have reached unto him, meaning that it's, it's their time. <laughs> the Lord, he, he got a set measure for everything to happen. And then once that set measure is fulfilled, then it's time to move on to the next phase. Which will be that deliverance or that destruction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another came from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle. And gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are full of night. There you go. Gather them clusters. Uh, get them to take another thing. Yeah, and, uh, and that's also going back into what he brought out in uh, uh, Revelation 18. And he late. And that's that great for the cluster whom the Lord has been, has been, uh, has been preserving. Hey, that's just yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Revelation 7, starting at the top, it says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, 
neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Uh, and that's the elect. So the Lord, he's, he has the angels holding back the destruction and, uh, you know, until, until they are sealed. Matter of fact, Jeremiah 51. Well, we think destroy we. God, this is book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And that destroying wind is that same wind from back in Revelation chapter 7 that the Lord has the angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding that back. And that's that, that's that their destruction. All right, he's, he's keeping that back, like he said, till that elect to see. Notice it says, uh, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. So this, this Babylon is the same Babylon in, in Revelation 18 whose sins have reached up on the heaven. This place blasphemes against the Holy Scriptures. Everything about this place is completely against the word of the Lord. And there's a, a great destruction that comes with that, and the elect is going to be gathered from that destruction. Uh, uh, like I said, everything is against the word of the Lord. I mean, from, from the food you eat, I mean, like, from the food you eat to the Water we drink, to the air we breathe, to this holidays, holidays oh. religion. Huh, hey, that was I was just uh, in Target earlier the other day. You know, you know how they have kind of Easter and all that stuff. I'm looking at Easter bunnies and all that stuff. And uh, then one was telling me that at my kids daycare, you know, they got an Easter egg hunt plan for them. Got an Easter egg hunt plan for them. But like, hey, it is best to just hear about that. Like these people literally just they, they don't care for the Lord at all. Rabbits don't have eggs. Family. Like that's madness. Yeah. Uh, let them, uh, yeah, that one, that's all. All right, that's the book of 2nd Andrews, chapter 9, verse 21. It says, And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then. Which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept, and my plant go. Just the yeah, and that, uh, and that, that grape for the cluster is the elect that uh that, that, that the Lord is holding that destruction back to be sealed. That's the one that the Lord is preserved. All right, and then matter of fact, read, read that again. Yeah, read that again. The second address nine and I'm gonna get twenty. Uh, it says, "Let the multitude perish, then, which was born in vain." Uh, they say, "Let the multitude perish, then, that was born in vain." Because Lord's gonna take up that elect and the multitude of the people, let them go. Okay, God. Uh, say, and let my grape be kept and my plant for the great labor I have made it perfect. Uh, uh, great labor I've made it perfect. So that elect, although yeah, you know, we might go off, go off, you know, see a different scenes there, but. But the Lord has perfected them. He's going to wash them and make them clean. And he did that through the hours. Right? Yeah, this is Revelation 21 and 2. And I, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven. So yeah, that New Jerusalem, man, it's talking about the elect coming out of that chariot. But it's talking about being the you know, person that's super through. And gathering the elect, you know, and that's what be coming out of the you know, the ones who've been uh, coming to get delivered out of this hell hole that we've been. It says, Lord willing, say, right? <laughs> Lord willing is us, you know, but, uh, <laughs> coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. But Yahweh shine people who call, you know, call it Jesus, he's coming back for a special lot of Israel this time, you know. All of Israel is not going to get saved this time, like how it's coming out of Egypt the first time. This new Egypt, this spiritual Egypt, is only a small remnant coming out. And that's that bride, you know, for the bridegroom, Yahweh Shah, people call Jesus, man. And we're about to actually see that in this lifetime. You know? This Romans 11 and 5, it says, uh, I start at 4. 
It says, but what said the answer of the Most High to him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of the all. Even so, then at this present time also, there's a remnant according to the election of grace. You know, just like the brothers just bring it out. You know, and I brought this out, we be those men, all right, of that remnant that's returned to the Most High, you know, who have mercy and grace given to us by the Most High, you know, and ultimately we are going to be those men, Lord willing, that don't bow the need to the image of all, all right, that refuse to take the image all right, that's not with the ways of the system. Right, because you can see clearly we put off those those old those old um, foul ways that we had in this world. All right, killed the old man, you know. So you know, I can say, I brought this out. We beat those men, man. Yeah. Zechariah fourteen, six thirty twelve, and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What's going to do that? And do we miss what has set up, right? So we went into how our deserved effect, served that great but apostle who was great labor, and he uh, kept and preserved. chapter 14 verse 12 it says and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth Lord it's literally going to melt and and then it is I think yeah the Lord will consume away and like I said Nuclear missile is going to do that. And a, a visual we always go into that uh, Terminator 2 suggested that. The visual on that. Sarah Connor was on that, on that fence. And when that, that, uh, that, that, that blast wind or that strong wind went out, uh, uh, her flesh literally just, just turned into dust while she stand on her feet like the perfect thing. Yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 1, thus said Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that will dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Uh, that's the wind, brother. Uh, yeah, right. I came out here. Did it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that destroying wind, it came back out again, man. You know, that, that uh, blast, did you see that big shock wave? That's what's coming. It's going to level all these places, man, that you see. Buildings going to be rubble. You know, everything's going to be fucking, you ain't going to be able to tell what was it. Like this building here, you ain't going to know the name of this building. You know, it's just going to be a pile of rocks and stones. And the bitch is just going to be fucking evaporated, man, from the heat. You know, it's going to be fucking something, uh, whoever made Terminator. I don't know what the director was. James Cameron. James Cameron. It's going to be something that he can even so come up with. It's gonna be a total uh, nuclear annihilation, like so, like you say, right? Yeah, you ever, uh, you know, play sports or anything like that, and uh, I remember, uh, especially we were trying out one one thing that uh, some of the scouts or coaches over there would say: look to your left, look to your right. Some on first stand here, basically everybody that you see is not gonna be somebody you see not gonna be here. So I'm telling that one of the great. Look to your left or look to your right. Everything that you see is not going to be here. This is uh, Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, come, come, my people, into thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord Yahweh cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. 
the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no and shall no more cover her slain. But the, the point that I wanted to get to is in 20, like you said, with that uh with that uh the wind, what was that again? The destroying wind, it's like the strong wind. The only way you can get away from that motherfucker is up there. You know, it ain't no way if you're down here when that is going on, it's over with. So yeah, yeah, and then you know they got they got your underground bunkers, they got your bunkers in the mountains. They even have the bunkers in the, in the water, you know, on the boats and different things like that. But if you think about it, you're not going to be safe. Huh? If, if the Lord don't, you know, because think about it, when they hit, it's going to literally shake the entire earth. So, he, you know, if you got bunkers on the water, water's going to be shifting and moving and going all kinds of places. Uh, of course, the uh, mountains are going to fall. The, you, like you said, the only place you can go in is up and be under protection of the Lord. That's is in the church. That's it. That's only that's the only salvation. <laughs> so I brought like, hey, we be at those men that be on them chairs. I don't, we don't want to be down here. <laughs> but like I said, we have a hard time opening up the oven and keeping our face near the oven. Brother, so, so yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine when them, them ICBMs come and you know back some shit off, man. Yeah. It's gonna be blazing. Back up the point the brother just made. It's uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. All the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Burn as an oven. Like brother said, you know, oven on 350 degrees. <laughs> That's how it's Sweet and sweet for bitter. Once again, 
our people, every, everything is good. Righteousness to our people is wicked to them, and wickedness to our people is righteousness to them. You know? Yeah, they look at you funny when you don't celebrate. You huh. stay inside in the house, people call you, oh, what you have? You're coming through, man. You're not going to partake in all of these fucking evil ass shit that you be doing, man. No, you be doing something. All the wrong shit, man. And then don't even take the time or liberty to understand what you're doing. They yeah. For real. They just do it. talking about both our bosses trying to get us to hang out after work like i'm highly offended by that man the only, the only reason i'm even talking to you is because yeah. i'm on the clock yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hang out with you and play. <laughs> man, after work, you want, no 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 i'm busy every day and i was thinking something i'm busy that day yeah, right? no matter what day you have in your mind i need to tell you i'm busy yeah, we right. are busy we busy with our father's business right. no, and, and it's beautiful because he be on my job i don't talk to nobody outside of myself yeah. yes right. those people yeah. i don't i don't talk to them what they have to talk about right? <laughs> you're in the adultery you're in the wickedness the christmas simping which yeah. is idolatry yeah. you're in everything contrary yeah. to the scripture catfish boils yeah. uh, what, what we get to talk about maria <laughs> we got brothers like, we got so many brothers in the camp now you, Go a minute without talking to my brother. You talk to this brother. Yeah, yeah. Man, man, I would yeah. talk to some nigga in the world. Yeah. Hey, this is beautiful, man. The Lord bless all of us. Hold this. No, we, we, we don't even have yeah. time to talk to yeah. people in the world. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're building the Lord's family, man. <laughs> this, uh, is that it? Yeah, this, uh, uh, gospel according to Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. It says, Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest, or in that harvest, the harvest is plenteous, and the labor, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. That's that's so true. This this camp, you know, we went for years, you know, it's just us, Nick and Bar, then this brother, this brother. It is beautiful. The Lord is actually sending forth laborers, but we got a, a full camp now. This it says the harvest truly is plenteous, all right. The harvest is plenteous, man. There's, there's 144,000 brothers that we have, whether we know who they are now, who they will be in the future. We don't have time for some nigga in the world. Man. Let's go do something, get up with a brother, man. Go, go somewhere, hit up a brother. We have, we have brothers now. This is not, you know, and, and uh, you know, your Yahweh Bashim Al Shah brought a thumb to all the elders that labored for years, you know, before YouTube blew up, before this truth uh, exploded. It was just them. Now the Lord has camps all over the city. We, we go to this city fellowship. We go to that city fellowship. It's a beautiful thing, man. We don't have to deal with niggas, man. We have a whole body of brothers. We don't have to hang around you niggas. You know, we don't need you for nothing. Your brother's got so many talents. This brother can fix cars. This brother, you know, it's like, what do we need check for, man? What does the Lord need check for? Two thirds, man. Two thirds of your purpose. How many times can you argue Jay Z versus Nas? Like, like it's 2023. They're yeah. still talking about Kobe. Like, he's in the spirit world. He he looking down at us. Like, man, we he want the kingdom. Kobe want the kingdom, man. Yeah, yeah. You niggas trying to debate. Like, it's it's played out, man. Demon. <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> well, see, Biggie had died in his yeah. prime. So <laughs> hypothetically, if Biggie had Biggie had <laughs> Biggie, <laughs> Biggie, yeah. you know, Biggie wants to kingdom, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 All of these dead yeah. Jakes stay in their right mind because they're in the spirit world. Yeah. 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 They think it down here like on them like shame, like it's crazy that you they could say something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't crazy niggas arguing over me, you know. Right. I'm up there chilling. Yeah. I'm at peace, I'm at rest, you know. That's you like it's down here catching your steel. That's like when Saul woke up Samuel. He's like, What's yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you yeah, 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 back here? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm chilling, man. <laughs> yeah, like you, you know, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> these niggas yeah, yeah, yeah. will bring back Tupac if they could. Yeah. Right. If, if if Jake had a choice between Yahweh and Tupac coming back, yeah. 
A hundred percent of two thirds would choose Tupac. Man. Stand down. Hands that wouldn't down. even be the debatable. Yeah. Like, man, Pac came back, man. He changed the game. You know, he, you know you get, you get Rick Ross. Get some Rick, Rick Ross beats with Tupac, man. Yeah. Like, you don't want the kingdom of heaven. You don't want servants. You don't want to put these heathen into slavery. Now I'm saying another Pac album, no. Yeah, right, right. Like, <laughs> Jake, Jake would rather another Tupac album than the kingdom of heaven. All right, that's that's sad, but that's the reality of our people. That, that goes back into them putting uh, light for darkness and uh, sweet for bitter. Yeah. yeah. That's what our people live. Give us that. Give us for rabbits, people. Yeah. They rather have the wickedness in the world rather than the righteousness of the king. Rabbits probably came back and saw the slump spirit. Like, you know, yeah. one of them niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're a rapping nigga. I don't know if he's fox slump. You're one of them yeah. rapping niggas. Rabbits, is, he came back. Yeah. This, this is back in Ezekiel <laughs> chapter 20, uh, so like 22, verse. 21. It says, it's like I'm going to start at, uh, I left off at 19. It's Ezekiel 22 and 19. Therefore, because you're dross, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the, into the midst of Jerusalem. This Jerusalem is first. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will i gather you in my anger and in my fury and i will leave you there and melt you mm. and when you just think just this visual life so you're gonna gather in the spirit of the thing and leave you there and melt you that's not a contradiction huh. And it's literal too yes when you read about the missiles which we're gonna get more of scriptures on that albert is up when the missiles hit this place, it's going to create that destroying wind, and Jake is going to be literally melted. Yes. It's going to be melted niggas everywhere. And heathen, like this. Heathen, this heathen. These Edomites, man, they've done so much. If you don't want vengeance, something's wrong with you, man. How could you not want vengeance for what's been done to your people? Which another word for vengeance is justice, all right? Justice is a balancing of the scales. Everything Esau has done is taking everything out of balance. So what's going to put things back in balance? Righteous judgment, man. Vengeance. Yeah, the, the Lord is going to put everything, like I said, back in balance because everything is out of balance. It's, it's, it's more on wickedness than there is righteous. So the Lord is going to establish, like you said, the righteous to balance it out. shall be melted in the midst thereof as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace so shall you be melted in the midst thereof and you shall know that i yahweh have poured out my fury upon you that's why he put his he put his stamp on because he said you shall know that i yahweh have poured out the fury upon you so so at the end of the day when the judgment comes everybody gonna know who that came i'm gonna, I'm gonna say allah and i'm gonna say jesus so it's not even gonna be God, it's gonna be the oh, I was like the Lord, gonna be, the, the Lord, the fear of the Lord is gonna come back to the earth, right? Right now, it starts with the, the hopeful elect, those that have repented, because you know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But wisdom is gonna flourish everywhere because everybody's gonna fear the Lord. 
Lord is going to restore his name because people forgot and they forgot about the Lord, you know, his name, what he do, the, the righteousness, the, uh, the fact that he's, he's a man of war, the terribleness of him. But the Lord is going to remind these people of his name, remind these people of what he can do, his power. Okay, because the world needs to be reminded of what the Lord can do. Okay, because they, they have totally forgot, which is why you see so like that. Which is why you see so much wickedness the way it is now, because they they don't care about what the Lord's on. But just trust and believe. He's gonna remind. He's gonna definitely. Saying, you know, people have forgotten because the uh, so-called white man he has fucking uh, made the power of the Bible weak and soft. Man. So made him a pushover. <laughs> say, you know what? Don't worry about the man that's in the Bible. Just worry about my laws. Hear me. You know, and so now everybody forgotten, especially our people forgotten the terror of the most high. You know but like we was talking about, it's coming back, man. It's already starting. See niggas in the small taste now, niggas getting laid out in the parking lot by switches, you know. You know, uh, yeah, you know <laughs> Marble getting fed alligators, you know, little, little niggas getting fed the gator bait still, you know, back in the reincarnation, you know. <laughs> so you just seeing a small taste of what's to come. And we, we're on the heels of the big shit that's coming. That JT, Jacob Trouble. No? Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, that's the first thing I thought about. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I back. Back. Yeah. 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 So like you really talking about, everybody's gonna know it's coming from the most high, man. It's gonna be ain't gonna be oh well Russia did it, you know, America shut up. People like, no, this has to be an our power. We made, you know, the one they ignorant called God, we made this you know, we made it mad. When the earth is shaking, shit trembling, earthquakes, all kind of destruction going on, you gonna know that's not that's not anything man can do on his own. Verse seven. Therefore, shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. Because yeah, you niggas are going to learn to fear again, especially our people. You're the main ones. These heathens, they're going to fear no matter what. You know, even after the nuclear destruction, when we get their asses in the kingdom, they get their as a thousand years of slavery, they still going to be fearing us, you know? But you fucking Israelites, man, hard headed, bone headed ass Israelites, so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you niggas are going to learn to fear again, you know? Because that would have kept us in line to fear. But you niggas done got cocky. You got proud. You know, you sucking on the white man's tit out here for his, uh, for his britches. You know? And that shit's about to come to naught. You know? Verse 8. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. So, yeah, you people going to be pissing and, and crapping on yourselves here real soon. Everybody like to walk like they all uppity and all, all high mighty and shit. You know? Got this, uh, what they say, you got your head in the air like you all this and all that. You'll be brought real low again to an infant stage where you pissing and shitting on yourself, man. You know? So all that how minded thinking you this, thinking you that. We're going to see when you fucking around here running scared, full of tears and pants full of shit, you know? Verse 8. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travailed. Yeah, so you're going to be like women out here screaming like you're in labor. Most of you men out here bitches anyway, you know? So this fits you just fine. Yeah, a lot of you niggas just bitches anyway. Like that little, uh, that fucking scoffer last week passing by. Oh, bald-headed ass. You know, where your whole ass at now? Work need to be done, you know? But you want to fucking drive by and stop? Ain't doing a goddamn thing. That's one thing about Israel. You watch a couple of videos and you niggas think you're prophets all of a sudden. You know? Yeah, that bitch will tell me that, that's on uh, the nature of Esau. Because uh, even when Esau goes to he came up with that, that long distance, long range, yeah. long you know, attack people, yeah. and uh, all of these things. No, Lord, you got in, you know. Real big, get in and go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
everybody want to be a fucking prophet every now and then, you know? You want to drive by and scoff. But hey, you can't pick up this sword every now and then. You got to have this fucking sword all the time. So don't try to step into a man's ring, man. You know, you just fucking take your ass up bourbon, try to get on one of them wicked ass niggas up there. But you ain't going to do that. But it's okay. The most I can really pay you fuck niggas back, man. They shall be amazed one another. Their faces shall be as flames. So yeah, like we're saying, you niggas get burned to a fucking crisp, man. You know them fucking uh, wings, you like uh, hard fried. It's going to be fried even harder than that, you know? You niggas gonna be burned to a goddamn crisp. You gonna be dust. You know, I wish the most high would just allow me a satisfaction be able to run my hands through you niggas' fucking ashes, man. You know? Because you niggas fucking hard headed and fucking useless. You know? But all this about to come to an end here real soon, and we on the heels of this shit, man. Let's see. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. My people don't know. They don't consider. Who the Lord is. They don't consider who, you know, the fact of all the things that the Lord has done for us. Because, matter of fact, uh, he was on the things they saw. <laughs> you made a point of uh, you asked who, who are our allies? Nobody. The only, literally, only the Lord, which is perfect. It, it's true. Literally, our only ally is the Lord. Everybody else is our enemy. It's <laughs> only ally we need. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's both sides are hate, man. Who's going to defeat us? If the God of Israel is on your side, no matter how many enemies you have, man, one shall chase a thousand. This is scripture said. Yeah, yeah. Even going back to the because remember, we were winning the war, and then when they took their Babylonian army, then we were losing the war. That was our thing. Our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. Uh, our people literally provoke the Lord. And, uh, he, it, it, it's so bad because that's why I said, look at our people. You can't even just describe just how wicked our people. How far we go? It, 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 it's mind boggling. It's like, because it, it, you try not to be surprised by the wickedness that you see, but the more and more time passes, like, so Jesus, you're doing this now? Like, what? Yeah. 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 Woman and outdone uh, Karen, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. there, there was a time growing up, it was oh, only white, only white women do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 now yeah. it's just like Eve, whatever. Yeah. And Jake, even worse, man, it, he still want to be a drug dealer. Jake want to be the biggest, baddest yeah. drug dealer. Yeah, he still want to be a homosexual. Jake want to be with Paul, with just like yeah. Jake, just take wickedness and just go through the most. Man. It's back in Isaiah 1, verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? He will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. No, he said, why? He said, why, why, keep, why keep on bringing the captain and punishing you and then bring you out? Bring the captain and punish you and bring you out. He says, no, we just don't melt you down and start over. <laughs> that, 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 that's what the Lord going to have to do. So, so at that point, like you said, there's useless niggas at that point. Talking to you now, <laughs> the whole industry, you know. 
down is how you do a sick animal short in mercy, man. This is a rather people that beast anyway. So this is a uh a honor killing or a damn a mercy kill. You know? You fucking deserve it. Every bit of it. Hey, uh this this to back you up on that. It's Joshua chapter 24, verse 20. If ye forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he has done you good. Yeah. Good, man. That's mercy. You're spiritually crying out, sick, you know, you're dying. You don't have the words that you're dead anyway. So it's going to put you out of fucking misery. They celebrate that shit too, man. But uh say that too. Yeah, which ahead. is which is backwards. Yeah, yeah. Backwards hell. You literally celebrate being the murder capital of the United States. Yeah. That's crazy. That's that's nothing to be proud of that you that you have the most murders per capita. Out of all the cities in the city. That's the first best way. We celebrate because it's Jake, right? Yeah. If we were number one in Jake's murder and Edomites, yeah. then Jake would be ashamed. We, we got to stop, got to stop yeah. the killing. But Jake on Jake, hey, that's cool. Let's rap about it. Let's let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, think that uh, Jake and the brother think that he was good and good as in. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's crazy, but uh, the point I made with us, you know, being uh, the murder capital. Is the fact that half these Jakes out here, they really getting mercy from the Lord, smashing them right in. Yes. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's that's crazy to, to, to even have to put it that way. That our people is it's better to get a bullet in the head out here yeah. than, than continue to do wickedness like most of these two thirds going out here anyway. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, the mercy field, you know. Yeah. Where the what's coming? earlier is uh, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24. I'm going to read some of it in the NLT. It says, I called you so often but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. And what is what is the Lord doing right now with, with just his prophets on the streets? That's the Lord calling. That's him reaching out his hand. Like you said, people not listening, people walking by every day. People walking by every day, people uh, you know surfing the internet, but the information is out. The knowledge of uh Hebrews life is out. The knowledge of what the Lord is, is out. It ain't gonna it ain't no I mean you can just be surfing the internet and just run across it. Yeah. Out of mind, bugged out preaching for six months of King David. You know, yeah. he off, but yeah. he still he's still doing it. Yeah, and he can tell you you won, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake, <fuck laughs> out, <man. laughs> That's exactly what you said. It's uh, the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through want of the fruits of the field. So it's better to get, get shot than to die of famine, all right? Because famines are coming, all right? These, these clothes, these are. Uh, Stores are going to close. You're not going to be able to go to Walmart to get food. You're not going to be able to go to a farmer's market. You're not going to really be able to go anywhere. Right? They're going to corner off the streets, and it's going to be every man for himself. So for you to die in a, a so-called straight bullet or, you know, a shot that knocked the smoke out of you, knocked your spirit out of your body, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you're looking down at yourself, your body hitting the ground, your spirit just floating up like, God damn. <laughs> like, that's, that's mercy for you, how about you, Because the majority of these people, they're gonna die some horrific deaths. All right, Jacob's trouble is gonna be a horror movie for everybody that's not of the elect. All right, if you're not slated for salvation, you have a, a horrifying death to look forward to. Nobody dying of old age and JT, man. It's gonna be just crazy, just judgment after judgment after judgment. Right behind says Jacob's trouble is like no other. Like no other. No other. So you can't even imagine that, man. It's going to be worse than World War II, worse than the transatlantic slave trade. It's going to be worse than the 
and anything you could imagine. The so-called Holocaust work is going to be worse than any any movie you've ever seen, any story you ever heard. On my grandfather fought in Vietnam. Hey, yeah. Jacob's trouble is going to be. Hey, all of the the Israelites that make it out of that are going to have war stories forever, man. Mm -hmm. Eternal war stories. Like, man, I was I was in Jacob's trouble. Oh, tell me about it, Grandpa. Don't tell him. All right, Babylon was fucking wicked. All right. Your cousin was a faggot, and the Lord judged him. My cousin was, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make a point. Because you can see this shit. It's like literally coming. It's around the, it's like right at the doorstep, man. You know, with these other nations, you know, getting rid of the dollar for trade. Right? Now you got the market, the economy. It's about to go from inflation to hyperinflation, man. You know, and your job's not gonna raise your pay, so you're not gonna be able to even afford the food that you buy. Yep. Yep. You know, so what that's gonna result to Jake doing? More robbing, more stealing, more killing, man. Everything is literally getting worse and worse and worse until we get to the kingdom of heaven. All right. So I say uh, things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better. Mm -hmm. That's that's talking about the transition from Jacob's trouble into the kingdom of heaven. Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. That's how, uh, that's how all transitions of power is. It always, like you say, it goes from it gets worse and worse and worse, then it gets better. If any transition of power, there's always more. So it's not going to be, it's not going to, this not going to be any different. You know, God's going to come with that transition. It's going to be three, four, four, three, or come back in the chairs. Destroying everything, they want to do. It's gonna it's gotta go through it. Start the transition. It's what it is. Like you said, it gotta get worse before it gets better. I, gotta keep saying, I brought the letter, Lord. <laughs> it must be those men that make it through. And be saved out of this. We definitely don't want to be caught up in it. Proverbs get back on Jake. Not adhering to the word. It says, uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25. It says, But ye have said at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right? Because when all of this shit hit the fan, man, you don't be, you, you people know names. Some of you know the names. All right? Some of y'all got the other names, but y'all going to be calling on whatever power y'all serve, man. Seeking seeking the Lord, and there's going to be nothing but death and, and judgment going around, man. You know? And, and mainly chiefly for you Israelites, all right? That's not a part of the elect. Right, because you all had a chance, you know, but you said at, at none the counsel of the most high, man. And your hand at the prophets, at the men of the Lord. You know? So it's only right that you be justified by being judged by the Lord, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was not at 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Hmm. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So, in other words, I mean, it's pretty plain and simple, but nah, you can't hearken to my words. Go, go hearken to Allah. Go hearken to Buddha. Go hearken to white Jesus. Go see what they're going to do to you in that day. But, you know, we're all going to come through and lay law down. Not even that. Go hearken on the Beyonce. Go hearken on the Charleston White. Go hearken on whatever nigga you think has the truth, man. Other Israelite groups, which they all teach you Jacob's trouble's not gonna happen. Oh, the MOTB, that's sin. Oh, they, they go harking under them niggas, man. Because we since we crazy, we conspiracy theorists, we're we're rapists, we're all the worst thing ever. When all hell break loose, go harking under these niggas, man. Uh, second address one uh 25. Seeing you have forsaken me. I will forsake you also. When you desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. That's basically what I'm doing. Two big nine in Proverbs. 
Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye have not, as it were, forsaken me, but your own selves, says Yahweh. Most of time, pretty simple. He's saying, hey, fuck me over, fuck yourself over, you know? So I'm your Howard, you know? <laughs> How can you mess me up, you know? You forsaken yourself. You screwed your own uh, fucking good thing up, Jake. You know, and, and you about to see how uh really uh with that demon like power gonna get, man. You know, you are gonna really see what a, a demon is, man. You know, all these things about demon time. You know, I'm on demon time. This and that. Yeah, you about to see the real demon. And that, that, that's 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 uh, that's through the spirit of blood. Got these people saying that in these days. Yeah, uh, right. We all demon time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They better see. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like I said, call them other powers that you've been calling on, Buddha, Allah, your woman, whatever the case may be. Whatever Jake did put all their energy into something else, in the bag, especially the bag. Niggas love the bag. So you can spend all your time worshiping that and trying to develop yourself uh, or get yourself high in this uh, so-called white man society, man. Call on him and that when you see him rolling up the street and these tanks and these humvees, you know? Fucking just spraying everything down, man. Call on him and like they did in Katrina. Oh, we need the white folks to come help us or some shit like that, you know. White people come help, yeah. Yeah, them white folks ain't them so-called white people ain't hearing that shit in that day, man. They putting bullets in you niggas' heads, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the people that turn their back on the Lord are really turning their back on themselves. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of Yahweh. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you hate the Lord, you love death, man. Because Yahweh is the God of the living, right? And the commandments are life. Every, every, you look at every commandment, it leads to life. What? Be fruitful and multiply, all right? Getting married, having children, all right? Not committing adultery, not destroying a family, building a nation, man. Being wealthy, being uh, uh, just opulent, man. Just producing more. That's what the commandments produce, life. So the God of Israel is the God of life. So if you hate him, what do you love? You love death. You love Esau, the man of death. All right, what does it tell you what happened man? He is as death. Esau is, is, is walking, he's death on two legs. And our people love death. Yeah. Our people, like I said, our people love death. Our people love to have the soul. This is uh, Ezekiel 39 and 7. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. So how's the Lord going to Allowed him not to pollute his name anymore. Get him out of here. You're not about to do this no more. Y'all, y'all are embarrassing, man. My name is on y'all. And this is what y'all doing. So, like I said, and the only way to get that off is to knock him out the way. And it says, uh, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the power, the holy one in Israel. Like the Lord is gonna make his name be known. And how is he gonna make his name be known? Through making the things that is in the scriptures come to pass. We're going to know. We're going to know everything about the Lord once these things continue to come to pass. Once these, these last few uh, prophecies come, you know, come out. I just uh, second address 14 and 29, 28. Hear these words, O Israel. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Egypt from whence they were delivered. 30, and received the law of life, which they kept not, which you also have transgressed after them. So yeah, today, still to the day, uh, Israel is still transgressing the laws, man. They say they, they love darkness rather than light.
Life on fairy tale. So uh, are y'all still believing that? So, what do you mean that the ball the law the law done away with? They come with all kind of got yeah, a thousand one excuses now not to keep the law, man. Just to say the law is forever. You know, and you niggas gonna keep the law in the kingdom, man. So it's gonna be egg on your face then, you know. <laughs> Talking about it's been done away, you know, uh, we ain't got to do that no more. Yeah, you niggas gonna see it real soon, man. Everything that the man of the Lord has been saying on the highways and byways is true. And primarily, man, the GMS and you know other camps that follow the same, you know, that we do, man. Preaching the same thing. And you're going to, all the time you had your chance to ride by, laugh, scar, point the finger, you know, pull guns out on brothers, pull knives out, whatever the case may be. You know, you stop by for a couple of seconds, keep it moving, throw your fist up. So you're going to see, man, I was there when they were saying it, you know. I should have listened. You know, I should have just took my time and got serious, but, you know. As an end, hey, it's gonna be too late, but you're gonna be good then. It is where it is, man. Pretty like people that are know, like y'all really been on point. I've been talking about this last for a long time, brother. Like, yeah, like you can't deny it. At this point, you just have hundreds of people out there. coming to pass though it will come then shall they know that a prophet have been among them all right and when you, you seeing these things coming to pass you know like we was going into a little bit earlier you know crashing of the dollar all right the implementation of the, the new digital system all right the cbdc you know brothers been saying this man a long time ago you know start with our elder apostles going on 40 years man you know but like the brother was saying, you know, you would think that they would have more people, you know, that would actually start to come out to the block, all right? You know, you would think that they have more people that's subscribing, all right? You know, trying to get the word while they can, but, oh, hey. Not chances. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> you know? better you than us. Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> get your third. Get third. Yeah, you yeah. think. Yeah, because actually, little do you think is no. We can actually believe what we're saying too. Yeah. What we read, you know. Yeah, yeah they like, uh, well, I keep saying the same thing. Just because we believe in what we're saying, it doesn't change, you know. Like, why we come back there and say next week, you know, the RFI, what's the face, and then come back and say, you know what, it's a chocolate chip, you know, <laughs> or it's in your cell phone, you know. No. This is our uh, second Peter's three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any shall perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works. So I, 
and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and values? If you want, you know, you want to be at one with how much you know, shot. You want to be out here doing this work, man. Because, like I said, our people come along suffering as disciples, but you know, the Lord is doing the things on His time. But you clearly see that everything is going on that He said. Understand that when the prophets are speaking, there's actually a mercy in the Lord, you know, because while the prophets are out, the Lord is giving you that time to come back through. When you don't see the prophecy no more, yeah. you need to be worried. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just know that judgment is coming <laughs> when you see the you don't see the prophecy before. Like you said, you still have a little popcorn in there. Yeah. Practice test. This time, this deep test time, or time to take it. the ACT is just straight quiet. You don't hear nothing. You know, and that's when it's test time. And test time is coming real soon. You know, and they've been putting that in the act. You know that uh, uh, called the S six eighty six restrict act. You know, which they're kind of saying those are talking about. You know, banning TikTok, but it's not talking about just TikTok, man. It's talking about censoring every single platform, man, that people speak on. All right, and you got Google, but they just bought um, was it uh, was it Bishop or the other one? The other one, the other site that brothers use, Bishop and uh, Odyssey. You know, they, one of those, they bought those. So, what you think coming to those sites? The censorship, all right? They're going to start you know, striking Google, pages and videos on those on those channels, man. That's how you know that family company. You know, Google over you. Yeah. Like you said, you're going to bring that all over to them, to the office. Yeah. Uh, this Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, the power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and they shall not find it. That's why you got to get it right while you can now. Because from the time where famine is back. Uh -huh. you know, short as ever, and you're not gonna be able to get the word. You know, you're gonna be you say you're gonna be wondering from seeing you're gonna be going around looking where the prophet said, I know they was here, you're not there anymore, no looking for their page, like you know, might find some I see see videos, you know, some, some of these other videos, but you ain't yeah, some of these five one C three ones, but you're not gonna find the truth. Ezekiel 3 and 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are rebellious house. You know, it's, it's going to come a point in time where the Lord is going to shut us up, man. We, we, we go. We, 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 we're preparing ourselves for Jacob's trouble, even the way we're doing it right now, by, by, by staying on, you know, on our watch as watchmen, and, and doing the work of the Yahweh Shah. But, man, it's going to be a point in time where, you know, you're not going to hear the words of the prophets. You missed the ship itself. If you actually, uh, just if you want to test it out, leave your tongue to the roof of your mouth and then try to speak. Really? It's going to sound like a moment. You're not going to be able to formulate sound the same sound from here and another day. So, like, you basically said, the Lord going to stop the mouth of the prophets during that time. Uh, second address, five and one. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they shall dwell upon the earth, shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. So, yeah, this truth is going to be hidden from you. Real soon. It says the land is going to be barren of faith because how does faith come by, by hearing the word? You know? So, that's what we come into the famine, like your brother brought up about the TikTok. You know, that's just part of it. And you can talk about giving you prison time, yeah. finding you a million dollars. You know, if you click on anything that goes back to some kind of foreign government that has something against, you know, say something against the American government, you know, you're guilty pretty much, you know? 
and that and that all leads to the words, man. You know, that's what they really get down to. Yeah, that's what they really get down to, man. Just the word. You know, that's who they really aiming at in this bill. You know, so but hey, it's fine because hey, we tired of talking to y'all because it didn't get nowhere. You know, <laughs> you know, let them fucking bring all the drop all the bills. Just just kill all the websites. You know, that's what we looking forward to, man. I don't give a fuck about watching no damn uh YouTube video on a, on a how to do this. You know, I'm tired of looking at uh music with these uh wack ass comedy skits. You know, all that shit's garbage and mindless. You know. So we thankful that you know this truth is gonna be hidden here real soon, you know, because that's that's what's needed in this day, man. All you niggas that took all this for granted, you know, so it's just time to take it away from you. you know, it's time to get down to the business and thing. Saying, brother, brought out hate this. Hey, everything we've been talking about, money collapsing, you know, the banks collapsing, you know, we here now, you know, uh, full. But today, I think it started. With their digital currency uh actually starting today, but it goes full mainstream what two lots. So hey, you got the Fed now going, so you got this digital slavery that's coming, and that comes full control, taking the money away, controlling the money, you know, it's gonna be expiration dates on the money, you know, and that's just all part of the so-called white man way up and he got he's trying to prep everybody in full control because right now uh, you can go in the store and look cash. Go buy you some, go buy you something to eat here and now. This digital currency that's coming, you know, you can be able to tell you where you can and where you can't shop. You know, you like uh, Subway, guess what? Now he got it programmed where you can't eat Subway. You got to go to Jimmy John. Well, what if I don't like Jimmy John? God damn it, you ain't going to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you eating that day. Oh, you, you want to go to this grocery store? You can't go to this grocery store because your uh, coin don't work there or your credits ain't going to accept it. No, but that's what we're coming to. The money going away. You know, the money going away, you know, and everything else, you know, family of the word, JT, you know, so we're going to get into it, man, because that's all that's on this uh, agenda, man, that we have, man, is pushing out this prophecy, you know, getting ready for your house shot, you know, setting the stage for him to hype me in for your house shot, just like John was, you know, we, we're pumping up our uh, bride groom. Come get the bride. Oh, Lord, we'll be able to That's what it's all about, man. You know, there's nothing to hang on to this place here. You know, this place is done. It's boring. I'm tired of coming down here, riding up this damn Poitras. I got to go three, four, five different lanes, keep from the, you know, goddamn pothole, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> playing goddamn, like, dodge a hole, or dodge the pothole, you know? You gotta drive like this. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Whole thing, uh, social media, man. It was like if you're drunk driving in the water, still drive straight. You're drunk driving the water. Look, you're sober. Yeah, you swear. Yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> there you sober, then, right? <laughs> but if you ain't just, yeah, you're right. You must be drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. Well, yeah, just to back up, uh, you yeah, just read about like, all the faith is being taken from the land. This the gospel according to Saint Luke, mm -hmm. chapter eighteen, verse thirty-seven. It says, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Question mark. So the Moshe, the help us, Yahushua, man, he's going to avenge the elect. So our soul is crying out, man. You know, and we're crying out now by doing this work. Saying, hey, you know, we're doing the work. You know, come get us, deliver us out this hellhole. You know, that's what we're doing here, man. We out here crying out. We're tired of looking at Stardomites, Alphabet Gang, whatever you want to call them. I ain't going to say them too much, but tired of looking, looking at men that look like women. You know, tired of these uh, heathens over us, telling us what the fuck to do, giving us crumb. I don't even consider it crumbs, man. Just giving us a little something to, you know, buy something to eat and come back to that damn plantation the next day, you know? Giving us uh, just, just scraps, man. Whatever that so-called white man got left over, that's what he gives us, man. And here where we stand, we tired of that shit. You know? We found out we princes of the power, man. How you gonna how kings wanna stay here? Everybody talking about king this and you no know, hey, hey king. But you niggas, you know, happy being fucking slaves. Oh, that's 
That's mm -hmm. the story you said that. Uh, mm -hmm. This week, they have a nigga on, on YouTube named King Richie's, mm -hmm. and he worked he worked for uh, this, this Edomite bitch, Dressed Pearly, mm -hmm. who got exposed for being a goddamn super racist. We know Edomites are racist, yeah. but she got exposed for like being on some slave master shit. Mm -hmm. This nigga, this nigga's name is King Riches, yeah. and he on YouTube talking about man. I don't care how racist she is. This is the best place for me to be. What you, what y'all want me to do? Come on. Jake, man. Yeah, that's the only day. Like the real Joshua eighteen and three. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are you slack to go? To possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers had given you. So see our point right now. I'm talking about the land, like the promised God heaven. This is this is what y'all want? Yeah. The real uh, you know, the real street paid with gold. You know? Is, you come here, where are the streets of gold at? You know? Even in Israel right now, there ain't no streets of gold right there. You know, and they don't even have all the land like they claim to have. You're supposed to have from the Nile River to the fucking uh, what the Red Sea, you know, yeah. everything in between that Abraham was promised. So they ain't even got the full promise, man. Not even say, yeah, you, you over there worried about Ishmael, man. Yeah. Like, how are you the people? The scripture says, We return to the land, there's not going to be any more war, it's judgment, and the law is going to go forth from Zion. Mm -hmm. these, these niggas ain't keeping the law, they're not teaching the law. You know, they over there having sodomite parades. Oh, yeah, the biggest sodomite. Uh, uh, it's from uh, 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 protests and all that shit. Oh, that's not going on tonight. Oh, yeah, they're trying to. Yeah, so, how are you to Israelites, but you're not allowed to talk about the Torah? That's madness. Yeah, so, tired of BS, man. You got these people over us. You know, heathens having a uh, got to be a uh, political correct all the time. You doing a video, sit down or something. You, know, you can't offend nobody these days. You know, but it's okay to offend uh, Israelites, man. You know, call you three fifths of a man. That's still written in paper. Don't forget about that. You know, so you can't, as an Israelite, you can't say nothing to uh, who over you, your oppressor. But your oppressor can uh, handle you any kind of way. Fucking lying to you, to my old well. We're going to give them reparations one day here soon. You know, stay like dangling that carrot. Don't get us wrong to man the Lord. We don't want it. But the two-thirds niggas, they fucking, they live for that reparation shit, you know? And then on top of that, if you want to get down to it, you went back on and said you're going to give it to us anyway, you know? But we're going to get it out your ass anyway, you know? Exactly. No, we don't want that 40 acres and a mule here. Fuck that shit. We want your red ass in chains, the man. We want the daughter in the bed chambers, you know? And we want their wife out there fucking uh catching your wounds up, you know, banishing, putting bandages on your fucking head because your shit gonna be leaking, man. You know? That's what we want. We want pure slavery, labor, you know? Yeah. And we want to be able to pick your women out anytime we get ready on wine, you know, get full of that wine out there. Be one of our uh, Edomite gals built like a pony out there, you know? Get your ass in here, you know, it's time to go. You know, scripture. Yeah, exactly. It's Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Yeah. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies yeah. and all them that hate thee which persecuted thee. Yeah. And the brother just cited a curse from Deuteronomy 28, man. You betrothed the woman and this devil, this slave master, come take your wife and have his way with her. That's gonna happen to y'all, man. You're not gonna have no mind. Esau is not gonna have any hope, anything remotely resembling an attractive wife in the kingdom, man. Exactly. Ugly as bad feel this thing out there, man. You know, if that it was a scale, it'd be gonna have all the ones and two or threes, you know. You no, know, maybe fours too, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, or you might get a, a hand me down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when, that's what that been one of the toilet houses, you know, that the brothers come over, we get drunk, have a good time, you know, there's some bed witches out there for y'all, you know. You know, and no matter whether it's a so-called Chinese, so-called Ishmaelite, whatever the case may be, everybody's going to fucking uh, get this thousand years of slavery that's outside of the nation of Israel. It's going to be the highest status for a heathen woman. Yeah. It's going to be a play thing for Israelite men. Mm -hmm. It's just like this society, man. He, his top fantasy is to be the side chick that he saw. Mm -hmm. To 
to be a bed wench, to be a concubine. All right, that's how it's going to be in the kingdom. Just reverse. All right, the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think we have like a millionaire, like some type of multi millionaire type shit. Yeah, Serena Williams, too. But then she's going to eat. Yeah. And then look dead. Even the serpent. Even the serpent. How long shall I take counsel of my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over? Oh, come man, we, we tired of this shit, man. We crying out to the Lord. We want this shit to be over right now. Everything that the brother just talked about with our women in subjection, uh, the heathen women that we're going to have these concubines and the rule and authority that we're going to have over the land. That's what we want, man. Yeah, everybody. You know, see how these niggas on YouTube and all this. Oh, what whatever social media go out here. King this, king that, but you niggas happy being peasants out here, man. Happy being a slave out here. You know, the little clothes we got on is nothing compared to what we're gonna have on the king. We're gonna have, let's have a royal fucking clothing on, fucking robes, fucking capes and shit, jewels, fucking gold, purest gold ever made, man. No clear glass. Every time you say that, I automatically think of these uh, rap lyrics, man. Uh, all these niggas want the king. I was just thinking that, man. Brother, that, that shit is sticking my head every time. But like I said, that's what I be by. I be one of the kings of these peasant shit. Uh, us kings, we don't eat pork. We don't eat, we don't eat uh, catfish. We don't commit adultery and, and, and so on and so forth uh, with, with, you know, trying to take a, a nigga bitch and so on and so forth. You know, that's not up my alley, man. We, we, we're royalty, man. So we, we uphold ourselves like that. You know, we might have been so the king. Oh, yeah. I don't really know it. You know, no, no. Real king. Get those crowns. Rulership and dominion. You know, we are actually willing and dealing and making the calls, man. Oh, that's a You know? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, sir. Oh, hell, look at the smile on his face. Oh, no. She ain't got no problems with him. But a so-called black man, she, that's, that's nasty to her, you know? But she'll go uh, get 10 pounds of crawfish and stuff on the heads of the things all day, you know? But pleasing a so-called black man, that's disgusting, you know? But she go uh, go get a dog in a suit, and, and she happy. And she thinks she's better than life, you know? No problem. Do it. Yes, sir. No, sir. Right? <laughs> do everything you tell her to do. Yeah. When Jake start getting on your ass and telling you what to do. Uh, yeah. You hungry again? Yeah. I'm tired of cooking with your black ass. Your yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you saw too. Everything you see with the, the uh, on the news of a Edomite or a Israelite woman, he just gets my ass beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's what our women over to, man. They didn't went over to this heathen, so-called white man, the devil. We just gonna get to it. You know, he's the scumbag of the earth, and Eve loved that, man. You know, she loved laying down with stone. You know, but that's about to go away for her, too. So this is her last go around being a damn uh, bed wench for the so-called white man. You know? So go and get all your sucking out and all your getting uh, popped out. By the so-called white man, that's going away too. You might start going to see our women in the kingdom. Yeah, you're not going to see Israelite women in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, that's it. And if you even look at a woman too long as an Israelite woman, fucking off with your head, man. No. Trying to imagine. Her exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna read your thoughts. I'm gonna be like, well, you, you're trying to think what yeah. I got. Exactly. Yeah. But it's <laughs> <laughs> they used to do it to us. They used to call it reckless eyeballs. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Like I did a job at Tulane uh -huh. University, yeah. and they told us like the rules before we got on campus: you can't look at the girls too long. That's called reckless eyeballs. 
It's still a thing now. It's still a thing now. Oh, like, wow. can't, can't, uh, man, it's Louisiana. Yeah, Tulane, Tulane Campus. Yeah. I don't really know that. Tulane, there's nothing but goddamn people. Oh, you don't let me know. It's the two times. Yeah, like, you know, it's like, like being dudes. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, Revelation 18 and 6. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she had filled fell to her double. You know, when we put man, all of the shit that you did to Jake, you know, it's gonna look like a, a cakewalk, you know, compared to what we're gonna do to you when we get in the kingdom, man. You know, you're gonna wish you're gonna be sitting there thinking in your mind that you could have did worse than what you did, <laughs> and they're gonna do worse to you then, you know. Yeah. Like I said, hey, you're bringing out records out balling. We're gonna have reckless thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, reckless thinking. Thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> reckless thought. It's all with your head, man. You know, it's gonna be putting your ass in the kingdom, Lisa. You know, Ishmael, so-called Arab, you know, the Chinese, so you know, Boab. All y'all gonna catch hell, man. Well deserved. Because nobody came down here. You know, y'all let this so-called white man just do his dumb on us, man. And all y'all was y'all was with it. You know, you didn't say, well, you're too hard on them niggas, you know. Um, did Boy ever ever sent a fucking uh, a peace treaty for the so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American? You know? No, they was with it, man. Ishmael too. Ishmael sitting out all this money. He could have bought the so-called Negroes on slavery, you know, all this oil money. But did he? No, he didn't offer it. They ain't sent, uh, they ain't sent treaties. This is what they sent. This is Revelation 11, verse 10. It says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. They sent gifts, man. They sent, uh, they would hang Jake and, and make, uh, take pictures and put it on postcards. They chop off your rod, put it in a pickle jar. These people are freaks, man. Yeah, making shares out of out of Negro skin. Yeah. These heathen have a lot to pay for, man. And all our people that don't want judgment, you're gonna die here. You're gonna die with these heathen. All right, the Lord's not gathering cones to come together to, to hold hands with the heathen. All right, all these heathen are going into slavery. And deep down they they know it. They know it's over for them. Yeah, and that's what they did, man. They sent those gifts. The brother said he sent the bride, he sent Dad, Europe, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, down in Jamaica, and all that, you know, different places all over the world, man. You know, they sent you, like I said, uh, you know, they even traded some of us for just bottles of wine, man. Yeah. You know, we were nothing. Yeah. It's not a boy, boy for an harlot. Yeah. So a boy for an harlot. A boy for an harlot. No, I didn't. Yeah. That's what they did, man. They fucking, you know, nothing. Like they call us, uh, we was niggers. You know? That's all we were known to the so called white man. You know, going there and just having to play with your son. Nothing you can do with it. You know, you just got to wait till he get back. You know, two, three in the morning, some fucking uh, creepy ass cracker, like uh, Trayvon Morton said, come in there and just drag your, your little boy or your little girl out the bed. You know, and have, it, have his way with him. We ain't going to do it in the kingdom. You ain't going to get that. You know. But I'm just saying, you know what happened in history. You got to wait for this fucking animal to get done with your child, man. And then you got to come back. Your son got to cry on your shoulder. You got to hear the tears. And as you're a man, you can't do nothing. But yeah, we just say, oh, that's changing. You know, it's a new day. And it's your time to go down, boy. You know, we went down. I forget uh, where it said. Uh, we took it. I where it said, though. Yeah, that one too, but it's another one talking about uh, my complaining about our affliction. We took the pain, we took the slavery, so you wanted to take it, you saw? You know, these tears, you ain't gonna get out with tears this time. You can pay the price your way out of this, this slavery that's coming. You know, you can't uh, 
Make no peace treaties. Peace treaties is no good with us. So all we want is to hear the fucking uh, lashes get put on your back. You know, just because. You ain't got to do nothing. You just going to fucking uh, beat you down just because, man. Because right. we're going to show you what power is. We ain't got to sit down and do a council with all the other heathens. Like, oh, we think we're doing Edomites too wrong. You know? Or you think, uh, it's Israel, what you think about it, man? You think we need to just leave them alone sometimes? Give them, let's give them a couple of days off. No, all power is gonna come from the government of Yasharallah, man. Uh, no, and that's gonna be the ruling government forever. No more wickedness, no more going up and down, seeing women out of control, or badass kids running up and down the street. Everything's gonna be in order and peace for the Israelite man. You know, the man's gonna be back in charge again. You know? They talk about no damn gangster ass, so called part of these men that can see on TV. About man who got the laws, death, and commandments, showing the ordinances that was given to us, ruling. You know? Everything's upright, everything's just going to the law, man. There's no, you can't buy your way out of this slavery, Esau. You know, you can't, oh well, you can't come up with your little bullshit handshakes. Come on, you're a Mason, you know, or you're part of Illuminati. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do you no fucking good in that day. It's gonna be fucking put in your ass, man. So, book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, I will shy, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The mighty power, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. That's what I was saying. Lord willing, we are that, uh, that ruling class that's in the government of uh, Yasharala, man, the 141,000 being lit. So, and it's going to be forever and ever. It don't matter where Israelite going to be at in that day. He could be on, uh, which is, we're going to rename everything, though, but speaking now israel could be on mars you know that <laughs> oh that's that uh that bug out early he got he's on it man says upon the throne of david and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with justice and judgment from henceforth even forever. Uh, we're going to have a righteous king in that day, King David, man. You know, he's going to be uh, ruling. You know, he's going to have the same laws that we give him, man. He's not going to go outside that either, man. You know, we're going to actually have a, a one who's a uh, profitable in that day for us, man. You know? We're going to have to worry about, uh, well, you know, treating us like shit, you know, but on the heathens, he's soft. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa, man. It's going to be Israel and Israel only he's going to be looking out for, man. And they say everything's gonna be perfect. Ain't gonna be no uh, negotiating nothing with that king. You know? It's gonna be your Howard Shah, David, 144,000, man. You know, and then you're gonna have the one third, everybody come back, and then you got the nation of Israel trying to that comes back to the two others, man. But that top ruling government, your Howard Shah, King David, and 144,000, it's gonna be hell, man. Anybody in front of that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Pressure is going to be on you like a wet blanket every day. They're going to have to deal with the flesh. They're going to have to deal with whatever thing that we're dealing with right now. They still got to deal with this shit, man. I got to put the pressure on you. Oh, no, go ahead. This is uh, the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the and Salaki, and of all the heathen which are called by my name, said Yahweh, that doeth this. Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes of him that soweth seed. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take over that plow, man. 
Literally, we're going to take a minute to say we're going to possess Edom. We ain't making this up. We didn't sit down last night and write all these scriptures up and come out and say this, man. This is written by the most High, man. You know, this is his uh, word. We ain't come up with this. So Israel is going to possess Edom and the heathens, like you said. You see in the tabernacle of David being raised up. You know? We don't like when I hear preaching the truth and saying everything is out of whack. Everything's upside down. You got sodomites out here running rampant, man. They need to be clamped down. You know? We don't want to say the women are whores out here. And we're tired of looking at these women being whores. Who else is doing it? Definitely them gutter rats in Israel. No? It says, uh, I will raise it. His ruins and will build it as in the days of old. Uh, and Israel is going to be back on top as in the days of old. You know, uh -huh. King David, all right, King Solomon, mm -hmm. you know, Israel being at peace, you uh -huh. know, that's that's how it's coming. You know, like everything the brother been saying and going into. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 5. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in that day, but like the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, with which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and will be their power, and they shall be my people, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest. Of them said the Lord Yahweh, for I will give their iniquity, for I will forgive their iniquity, Salaki, and I will remember their sin no more. Amen. Ezekiel 31 and 34 on the latter end of it. For they shall know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Yeah, we're going to know. How about you, you know, man? These laws that man's going to be in our inward parts, man. We ain't going to come out here and teach you little bonehead Israelites no more, man. You know, there's going to be no more us on the block in Jerusalem, you know, with the, the sign out here, you know, the 12, 12 tribe sign out here. You ain't going to see that in Jerusalem no more, man. You know, you're not going to see us. I'm like, oh, well, do you know so all white man to eat them? You know, there's going to be no more of that, man. Everything's going to be set in stone. Everybody's going to be in their own, you know, uh, tribe. You know, we're going to know what tribe we from. We're going to know what uh, heathen, you know, nation they from. You know, there's going to be, we don't even know who the Israelite foreigners are in that day, man. You know, we're going to know everything that it is to be. You know, and that's one of the benefits, the beauty of being a, uh, 144,000, man, it's going to be all knowing too. Like like our power, man, and it's done. Yeah, I was sure. It's going to be nothing out of our realm, out of our reach, man. You know, everything, we just going to have the answers to it, man. We're going to know how how many times we could beat you to the fucking end of your life, man, for, for killing you, you know? Yeah, right? Yeah, the very yeah right before the soul. We're going to know how many stumps you can take, man. How many times, uh, how long you can hang up there before uh, Ham has to cut you down? Man? Like, Ham cut him down in about uh, 17 minutes. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right? <laughs> yeah, pull that out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. You can pull that out of my mind. All I'm thinking is yeah. uh, how many clicks you get to send up for uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 But yeah, I switched it up in my head, but you pulled it out of my yeah. mind. <laughs> that was a good too, yeah. yeah, and that's what we're going to know, man. How many stuff it is. What this stuff are you doing now? You know, all this thing. You know, you know? <laughs> before that, uh, that spirit leaves it. Yeah. And if it did, hey, we're going to bring it back, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spirit back. Right. Yeah. Put you to death. Bring you back and see you back to the field. You got Edom is going to die several times a day. Yeah. It's going to continually die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, uh, on reap, man. Just, yeah. you, know, really, you, know, you see how people like in the movies and the interrogations and 
attention, they have beat somebody near yeah. death to where they're going. And all of a sudden, they stick them with a needle in front of them. Yeah. 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 back up and let's redo this. Yeah. <laughs> let's get this shit going again. But imagine that. Yeah. 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 Come on, brother. Just imagine that. What up, man? Uh -huh. And you're gonna see another fist coming right back at you. Or you're gonna see a ham, big ass, 12 size foot ham like coming down, stomping you in the face again. You know, you do you do you know. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right? Yeah. And I was upset. You died. You told us up. You know? <laughs> you're gonna get me killed. You know? I'm not gonna die. Yeah, right. So if your taskmaster is trying to save his own ass, yeah. For real. No mercy for you. Uh, and yeah. hell, we're gonna be beating the piss out you, Edomites too. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna make sure, hey, make sure you go and work, cause if Edom ain't doing it right, Ham gonna get, he gonna get in trouble. Too. You. Somebody's got the uh, got a front, and ain't gonna be the Israelite man, you know. Right. Israel, period. You know, <clears throat> he's saying we ain't gonna, gonna be no more lacking wisdom, knowledge in that day. You know, we all gonna have the laws in us. No, we're not going to lose ever again after this, man. It's just straight W's forever and ever and ever. Oh, man, you know? Yeah, for real. Everything you touch turns to him. Bible study on a damn uh, projector, you know, talking about uh, black people, Israelites, you know. So don't play crazy, man. You know, preaching that uh, you're a slave master man, in the flesh. Mm hmm. So, like you said earlier, we didn't go home and make our own free stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to do it. You need your mic. The Bible says, which one is exactly? Yeah. Preaching, hey, these are the new slave masters. Lord willing, we are that number. You know? You're looking at your, uh, your owners in the flesh right here, man. You know, and, and no getting out of it. No negotiating out of it, man. You got to uh, pay the price. And that price, like we brought out earlier, is in blood. Blood, sweat, and tears, man. That's the only way. You can't uh, negotiate no more, Eve. You got it, uh, Eve here, back in the garden. So you talk about uh, that. Even got in the daycare, the man, you know, you know, with the sellouts and all this kind of shit. Now, all that's changed. We know who the devil is, we know who the wicked is, you know, and we know who uh, screws over, man. I'd be a little PG. We know who screws over, and it's still screwing us over to this day. Like I said, you the damn vagabond, and it's about time to pay for everything you've done. You know, you've been uh, running around all around the world. Cause the crops for crashing economies, poisoning everybody. Okay. Is it? No, we're an hour thirty. Oh, out there. This is uh, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, which goes in everything that brother saying, our everlasting rulership and righteousness, and us not having the knowledge taken from us ever again. And uh, you mean they're going into slavery. Let's start with that. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. You know, we're going to build up everything, man. Whatever we think, I want my palace this wide, this long, whatever. I want all diamonds in my fucking hallway, the whole wall, all the way down. Diamonds and gold, whatever the case may be, you have to do it. And Edom, man, you fucked up, man. You know? Just think about, if you have us here in captivity, you had us in slavery, working, picking cotton fields, you know, doing all kind of mass 
train stations before I watched those old stage movies like the one with the recently uh, Will Smith. You know how he was working on the railroad, the train station. See how rugged and how hard that shit was? Man, it's going to be twice as worse for you, man. You really fucked up this time, B. He said, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and said, but the most high, he's going to have mercy on Israel still, man. Yeah. You know? Like I say, he didn't do this to destroy us. So we learned our lesson. We used to be in our right mind. So we learned our lesson. We know what evil is. So we know right from wrong now. You know? But like I say, he's not going to forget the nation of Israel. He's still going to put us on top, man. You know? And it's going to be hell to pay in that day. It's nothing. I mean, I mean, nothing nobody can do about it. You know? And that's the beauty about the whole thing. He's never going to fall off. We never gonna have to go to war again, you know. About oh, we got to fight to save the kingdom, keep the rules on. It's gonna be none of that. The Romans ain't gonna come besiege us again, you know, on the third go around, you know, they ain't gonna sack the temple. You know? uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So like, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh with servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. The strangers that is captives. Ain't no fucking heathens, man. That's Israelites, man. Israelite foreigners. You know, they're gonna be joined to us, man. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, get they right uh, spot in this thing too, man. You know, if they uh, look like a so-called white man, they're gonna get their color back. You know, but if they they look like a so-called Chinese or whatever, but they're gonna be an Israelite. You gonna tell? They're gonna have that glow, man. You know, they're gonna be like I'm saying. Uh, I think it's Daniel. Israel is going to be like China, like the permanent, permanent, It's not going to be a guessing in the kingdom, man. It's going to be when you see an Israelite, you will see that man or that woman or child glowing. You know, just some shit like our Bruce Leroy. You know, everybody outside there is going to be no glow. You know, <laughs> yeah, you can even see that now. Uh-huh. Like these heathen, like uh, Elam. Mm-hmm. Elam is dark skinned. Elam is brown skin, but they, it's a dull brown. It's like a matte brown. Mm-hmm. They don't have that shine that Jake has. Mm-hmm. You know, Jake even, you know, he saw all the shines to, like, make fun of us, but we actually shine. Mm-hmm. Israelite skin that naturally glows. How much more in the kingdom? And it's going, man. We're going to be going, man. We're going to be like a, like a walking, uh, like the, uh, what do you call it, the atmosphere like? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, you go right back. That's great. The Holy Spirit is undefeated. I know what Elamite was going to walk with, man. Come on, man. You can't make this up. Yeah. Like, what are the chances of that? Right on cue. Right on cue. I said, 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 I Every other leg gonna have, man, that glue. You know, it's gonna be straightforward who we are. You know, you're gonna see uh, Jake, just before that 4,000 coming in them chariots, traveling in chariots, flying, shooting uh, laser beams and shit out your eyes. You know, fucking strength is picking up. Can't even, can't even gauge how much strength Jake's gonna have in that day, man. You know? Yeah, 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 that's it. It's gonna be fucking glowing. Beautiful. Looking, looking young, that young skin again, you know, looking youth, you know, and, but everybody else gonna look uh, diseased and through like they are down here in Babylon. Yeah, uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 And, you know, either daughter they can be cast out, you know, how, if that witchy nigga Michael Jackson can make a pass out and shit, just imagine. <laughs> Those spiritual bodies, righteous, glowing, and them bitches gonna paint on the spot. They see it, you know, and that's just how it is, man. I have a phone. It's gone. Back in Isaiah 60, verse 11. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually; they shall not be shut 
day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. God. Isaiah 16 and 11. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. Y'all have to bring all these uh, goods that's going to be left, the gold, jewels, the spices, the linen, whatever's left after the destruction of World War III. You have to bring it to the gates of Israel, man. You know, and Gentiles, I'm like them either, man. Y'all have to get y'all asses to work. You know, digging by hand if you got to. We need uh, all the raw materials, all the gold, the silver, the rubies, the emeralds, the daughters, the yeah, daughters. We need, hey, we need all that. And then some. You, you ain't gonna be able to bring enough in the kingdom of heaven, man. You just about to keep working and working until, hey, until our coffers are full, man. You know? To that thousand years, you gotta get in, man. But guess what? We want big chains too, goddamn. You know? We want fucking. Jewels on shit don't even have jewels on it. You know, like I say, got it. Jake want to be got it, you know. Yeah, just fucking shit, just big ass emerald hanging off your dick for nothing, you know. Starting out, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and they got to match all the garments that we got, man. So you're going to have to do a lot of things. They're going to match everything, yeah, everything got to match off top. Yeah, I'll tell you. Lying on Mac Man. Yeah, Yo, Jake be matching. Yeah, yeah, Jake got a matching demon on. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jake gonna be matching his lion with his garment, with his yeah. jewelry. Yeah. Whole yeah. family. They do that in Nigeria. Like Jake will his whole family wear the same outfit. Uh-huh. Like that's just that's a royal thing, man. Yeah. It shows uniformity. Yeah. And in the kingdom, man, it's not gonna be any man versus woman, no oh, yeah, fighting. Yeah. yeah. You, you beef with your baby. Nah, yeah. man, all your wives are gonna be on one accord. Yeah. Y'all gonna be cool. Like, you might be fighting in the streets. That's not baby daddy. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna exist in the yeah. game. Matter of fact, they're gonna go on the same. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be sisters in that day, man. Yeah. They're gonna be taking care of your children in that day, man. Together. Yeah, everybody's gonna be in your domain. They're gonna be focused on that Israelite man in that day. We've been shitted on so long, messed over, you know, treated like trash by the man. You know, so-called white man and by the woman, man. You know, but the Israelite man, it's going to be all about you, man. You know? It's damn well deserved. Overdue. It's an important. Mm-hmm. So, if you love the most high, you got to love the Israelite man. He says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Right. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. Out of line and don't want to serve, you know, government of Yashar Allah at 120,000. You don't want to serve a man of the Lord, uh, especially your leg. You don't want to serve the elect, man. Man, your ass is going to be flat like a pancake, man. Examples are going to be, yeah. You know, the fear is going to go out. So, something's going to happen to where we're going to have to execute judgment to make everybody else like, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to gather all the heathen up and, and this can happen to people against the, you know, yeah. It's gonna be a, a comic book yeah. Mortal Kombat fatality death. It's not gonna be yeah, yeah. 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 You're not gonna yeah. shoot you in the head, yeah. we're not gonna hang you, we're not gonna yeah. stab you, it's gonna be some horrific like people are gonna look and be like, yeah. whatever he did, yeah. I ain't gonna die. Like, okay, whatever Israel say, hey, that's what it is. He had done so you know, he's he's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. He I mean, not Jake. Yeah, yeah. They're they gonna get hit with bicycle kicks. Yeah. You have your, your spine ripped out of your mouth. But it's gonna be some real fatalities. Like yeah. the Lord put the spirit on the Edomites to make Mortal Combat. That's yeah, that's yeah. gonna happen in the kingdom. That's you know, things, yeah. That, that fucking Johnny Cage ever could. Yeah. You know, not just shit, to just knock your whole me. head off. You know. <laughs> Yeah, we want to, you 
you know, stop the rain after you know you get out of slavery a thousand years free. The other nations stuff you saw he will be exterminated. You other heathens, man, we want you to buck up in that day, be uppity, man. We're gonna cut the rain off your land. So we're gonna create famines. No, oh, we're just gonna come straight in there and just slaughter you, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Unannounced. Yeah. Why you have accounts? We just gonna pop up, man, and just go ahead. Yeah, just rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and ain't going to be no debating about it, man. You know? It's yeah. going to be quick judgment. Yeah. The only United Nations is going to be the United Nations of the kingdom. Yeah. Yasharala, man. The 12 tribes of Israel, which are 12 tribes and nations. Yeah. All right, we're not going to have councils with you either. We're not going to have a, a UN meeting where we, like yeah. your brother said, we're going to come up with a treaty yeah. and see if we, we're fairly, like, nah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever Israel says, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. It says, verse 14, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and they all that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. That's when that's really going to matter in that day, man. We got this desert looking down on you, towering over the some fucking heathen. That's what folks call white man. Like, is this the man that made the world tremble? Yeah. You know, is this the man? You know, he bound down, you know, kissing the ground you walk on, man. Now, that's what that's real power. You know, and, you know everybody get off and say, oh, I'm ready to eat my kiss my foot now. But yeah, you still got to go to work and your yeah. boss is eating my You know? What's the point? Yeah. Real power is just way to make this motherfucker just kiss your foot. Matter of fact, you ain't even have to make him. Just look at him. He's going to know. Oh, you want me to kiss his feet? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you might as well go yeah. walk around hunchback. They, they're not oh, going to look yeah. at Israel like in the eye. That's like, you know, we go back to like, about 100 years ago. Jay, Jay couldn't look Esau in the eye. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. right? Yeah. You bucking up? Yeah. Like, man, in the kingdom, you you make eye contact with Israel. Like, <laughs> yeah. You might lose your eye. You're going to lose your eye. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Like, what happened to him? Oh, you looked at Massa. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 going to be exactly. You yeah. both eyes going to be fucked up. One eye going to be fucked up. Example. Yeah, and y'all about to bow down there in that day, man, all the way down. You know, just like uh, you had to uh, see every knee going to bow to your house, shot, man. Yeah, and guess what? You must bow again in the kingdom of heaven, man. Jerusalem, every single one. Go face down in the dirt. Yeah, that's the only way we want it, man. You no, know, y'all, y'all had a, y'all had y'all good run. You know, you got a so-called Ishmael got all the damn uh, oil money. Yeah, gas yeah, stations, brothers, chicken spots. You got a motherfucking uh, so-called white man on any and everything. You know, you got Moab, they got their piece of the pie. You know, Elam, they getting their little piece of the pie. Guess what? All that's about to go away, man. Y'all about to be lowered in dirt here real soon. You no, know, everybody need to get used to being called dirt. You know, a dog. You know? Good state. Everything we're talking about here is coming to pass, man. And it's gonna be actually what we're saying. You know, it, this ain't make believe. We ain't out here just uh fantasizing, you know, old bell whole point that no, it's written, man. Everything we saying is written. It's, like I say, it's been coming to pass and it's gonna come to pass. You know? Like I'm saying, Lord willing, we hope for those men that we talk about. Because hey, we got some things planned for y'all. So you see, man. No, no more uh, cross dressing in the kingdom. None of that. No more just, no more degeneracy, man. You ain't gonna see all this damn graffiti that you see now in the kingdom, man. And yes, the kingdom of heaven is gonna be on earth, not in the damn clouds. You know, it's gonna be extra fit to walk on these streets of gold that's coming. You know, you're gonna actually feel the doors on these big ass houses brothers gonna have. You know? You're going to actually see all the, the livestock, the animals that the brothers got on his damn. I don't even call it plantation. It's going to be bigger than a plantation. Huh? His domain, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, his dominion. You're going to see everything. You're going to see what real wealth is. This so-called white man couldn't do it right, man. You have to show him how to actually live, you know? And that's the story now. We have the Los Angeles Commandments in us. But first, secondly, we're going to show him that I'll show you what real wealth is. Yeah, that's, that's you know? 
15. Verse 15. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Eternal excellency, man. Think about that. Eternal excellence. Like, you just get better and better every year. I'd say, yeah. You never falling off. You never fall off. You are ever shining. You know, every time they see you, you look good. Yeah. Every day. Every day. Forever. All and day. You Forever. Know what I'm yeah, there's no such thing as an off day. Yeah. In the kingdom of heaven, you know? Nice. You know, you listening all the time. You know, <laughs> it's, it's straight world yeah. power. Call like that uh, wicked nigga, baby. Say, fall till you fall. Yeah, when are you falling off, though? Fall. Yeah, you yeah. ain't falling, though. Yeah, right? You're going to fall till we fall, but never fall. Exactly, right? That's <laughs> Israel. Yeah. It's going to, I mean, it's going to be ridiculous, you know, and that's just, uh, what's the word, what the hell they say it? Damn, I forget what they say. It's, it's going to sin, they say. Damn. Fuck, is that the tip of the tongue? Like, anyway, if I got a piece of something, you got something, yeah. yeah. Uh, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. It's, it's gonna, like, imagine how abundant like wood is. It's going to be iron for that. Imagine how abundant brass is. It's going to be gold for that. So it's just going to be streets paved with gold, like it tells you in Revelation 11. And the heathen are going to have to pave that, man. It says, violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. Just going back to what you were saying earlier about us never losing our understanding. It says, the sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but Yahweh shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy power, thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for Yahweh shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. The sun and moon represent knowledge and understanding in the kingdom, man. So it's never, the sun never withdrawing itself means we're never going to forget who we are. We're never going to lose the understanding of the herbs. How things really work, you know, the, the biology, just knowing how to do everything, man. That that knowledge was given to Jacob, and we're going to re retain it forever in the kingdom. We're not going to lose it. This Psalms chapter 149, going to tell me, I was wondering earlier about us being a perfect king. All right, imagine stone, fire. It says, um, verse 4, for Yahweh take your pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meat with salvation. <clears throat> Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing along upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. This lights and on our beds, man. You're probably going to be at rest. You know, we're going to be able to fucking just relax, you know, be able to enjoy every moment. You know, there's no more uh, being pressed for time, fast food, you know, and microwave mentality. We'll be able to just gather and be able to soak everything in the kingdom, man. You know, and just enjoy every sip of wine, man. You know, sit there and talk to a brother another hour or two, sip another, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go to work tomorrow, man. Yeah, never gotta go to work. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember just a little while back when I was up there in Houston, I was talking about a brother, a rock, a rock. Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. I'm but I know. Anyway, I was at a brother's house, man. We was up probably about like three, four o'clock in the morning, just talking, man. And they know each other. Me and a brother, you know, just having an intimate conversation with each other. And the brother was like, bro, like, I, I don't even want to go to sleep, brother. Oh, brother, I like, brother, I don't even want to go to sleep. And I felt the same way. Like, brother, we sitting and drank and we having a good time. Just, just talk. Oh. This is Gary J. This is Israelites just getting together. We got a beautiful spirit. Man. We come amongst each other. Ideas bounce off. You know, just have a good time. Ain't got a story. So we can go for, you know, oh, yeah. I was on that. <laughs> you know, we can go 
go on and on. Well, I imagine the stories yeah. in the kingdom. Yeah. Exactly. Because every member of the 144,000 is going to have stories about Jacob's trouble, we're going to have stories yeah. about serving the Lord. Righteous stories, like not some nigga shit, like actual righteous, legendary stories. Yeah. The Lord raising up a nation of kings and priests that are legends. Yeah. He said he wanted to, every brother that they want to count, man. Like, damn, man, I'll tell you this, but hey, yeah, hey, yeah, take this seriously. Yeah, I got to tell you this, you know. And like you said, we ain't gonna be pressed for time. Like, oh, what the sun going down? I gotta hit it, hit it, go work more. I gotta get, you know, eat real quick. Now nah, that, like, fuck it. Tell the cooks, man, get the lamb on the grill. Go on, you know, another round. Yeah. Really? Which one do you, brother? Which one do you, you know? Whatever you want, basically, they gonna make it. You know? We go, yeah, and it's gonna be everything from scratch, you know? Especially <laughs> made everything. That's it. Not gonna be no styrofoam, not gonna be no preservatives. Yeah. Food, yeah. Meat. yeah, no cold, you serving no cold food, nothing. Everything's fresh, fresh off the fire, fresh off the snow, off the grill, whatever you want to Back in Psalms 149 and 6. It says, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand. That's a real sword we're going to have in our hands. Uh, and it's going to get used, too. Uh, add that on top of that. Man. So, yeah, it's going to be bloody, man. It's a key to the sword. Yeah. Verse 7. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Just like you were saying. You're going to use the sword. You know? Yeah. In verse 8, it says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. That's all these little pieces of shit. You know, King Charles. Princes of Monaco, the King of Monaco, they gonna come to the uh, rightful place as being a piece of shit, you know. Now it's just coming to take the crown from the fucking piece of shit, man. You know, we gonna mop up the rest. You know? It's gonna make Yahweh Shaz do his thing, man. You know, rightfully so, his crowns, man. That's what we gonna do. We gonna let him do his thing and gonna put that sword to everybody else, man. That was that we allowed. Yeah, 49 and 22. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall, they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Heathens, Gentiles, you about to bring your son uh, to slavery, and your daughters will bear with you, man. You know, you want the spices, jewels, everything, man. Everything that is good, you know, we're going to have it. <laughs> so if we want everything that deserves to produce say this world was made for Mashiach's sake, man. Guess what? We join air. So hey, whatever he's getting, we're gonna get it too, man. Everything, everything in this earth belongs to us too. You know? I'm saying you have to bring that to the gates. Now, like they say, it's gonna be open to you. Yeah, I mean, stop riches coming in. Yeah, and we don't sleep if we don't want to, you know. <laughs> so we can have you running 24 6, man. Just bring your shit back into the satisfaction. But at that moment, never gonna be satisfied, you know. Because after a thousand years of slavery, you still gonna have to pay a uh, tribute to us, man. You know, so we still got to pay the nation of Israel forever and ever, man. Oh, man. I 
Israel, you know, 